At Option Genius, we believe that you deserve freedom, financial freedom, so that you have no more worries and more than enough money. Time freedom, so that you could do what you want, when you want to do it. And choice freedom, to live your life on your terms. But the system and Wall Street are rigged against us little guys. So how do we fight back? Well, my friend, that's what this podcast is all about. My name is Alan Sama, and this is the Option Genius Podcast. Hey, passive trader. Howdy ho. How's it going? Today, I'm coming to you with a challenge. Yes, I'm actually going to challenge you. I have something I want you to do, or at least try, because even if you try, it's going to be better than not trying at all. And I believe that the word challenge has been watered down. You know, a challenge used to be something tough, something hard to do, something not everybody could accomplish. But now it's like, challenge this and challenge that, this ice bucket challenge, you know, throw ice on your head. Okay, no big deal, right? So this particular challenge is actually going to be uh, difficult. And it's not something that you're going to be able to do overnight, most likely. It's going to take some time, but I believe that this is a goal that is very worthwhile. Now, I'm going to give you a little background before I tell you the challenge, okay? They say, scientists, that is, tell us that money can make us happy to a certain degree, right? So if you're making less than 75,000, they say, if you make more money, then you will be happier. Obviously you'll have a better standard of living, less stress, all that good stuff, right? But after 75,000, the more you make, it doesn't really help that much. Your level of happiness doesn't really change. You just stay at the same level. I believe the number is probably 100,000. You know, just because 100,000, six figures is a good goal. Everybody's like, oh, yeah, make six figures. It's like a cool thing. So I would say, hey, that number is 100,000. So if you were making up to 100,000, you know, if you make more, you'll get happier. And then maybe after that, then you don't get happy anymore. But the thing is, that's really, I think, the point of life, (laughs) right, is to be happy. And then how do you, after you're making that much money, then it becomes not about you, but it becomes about how can you help other people? Right. And then that's where it comes to the challenge. So I want you to be happier. I want you to be more successful. And I think that this challenge will be able to do both. First off, they have something called tithing in Christianity. In Islam, they have something called zakat. In Judaism and Hinduism and Buddhism, it's voluntary, I believe, to give money. Not mandatory, but it's encouraged. So all the major religions have some sense of giving back to help the less fortunate, the needy. That's what I'm talking about. How much money of your income do you give away? Whether it be a religious thing or to a charity or local cause or whatever you want to do, how much of your money do you give away? Now, some of you might be thinking, whoa, Alan, hold on there. I'm barely making ends meet as it is. Don't be telling me about giving away money. That's fine. You don't have to do it right away if you really can't, but I do believe that there is something that you can do, and if you do give it, it'll make everything better. It'll make you happier, and it'll make you more effective and more productive and wealthier. I've seen it with my own eyes. So here's the thing. If you're not giving anything right now, zero, not giving anything, if you want, you know, tally it up. Say, how much money do you give every month on a monthly basis? Or on a yearly basis, however you want to figure out. Figure, you know, find out what you make. How much did you give away to charities, to your religious institution? Maybe you, you know, gave a loan to somebody that never got paid back because you knew, yeah, yeah, he's not going to pay me back. That's also, you know, giving money um, to a friend or relative or whatever like that. Find out how much you make. Find out how much you gave. What percentage is that? If you're not doing anything, if you're zero, I want you to get up to 5%. I want you to give away 5% of your income, okay? Now, this is for people who are, like, really strict, right? Like, really, it's tight. Everything is tight. And I think you should make it a family affair for all of us. The family should be on board with it, wife, spouse, kids, husband, everybody. And maybe they all pitch in to help decide where the money goes. That would be a really cool thing. It's a good lesson to teach the kids as well. If you are giving something, but you're giving less than 10 Let's bump it up to 10, okay? Because if you already know how to give, then you got to make it a habit. 
you got to make it consistent. You'll be like, okay, I'm going to get this much. Now I got to figure out where is it going to go. And that's the fun part. That's a fun part where you figure, oh my God, there's so many great places and great things that I want to help the world in. Which one do I get to help out? Eventually the goal is to go higher. So for those of you who are already giving 10% or more, you're not off the hook. <laughs> because the challenge, the real challenge is to get you up to 20%. That's right. 20% of what you make, your income. Now, I'm not talking about taxes. I'm not going to make it complicated. This could be before or after tax, whatever. Well, however you want to do it, that's up to you. But the challenge is to get up to 20% of your income, giving it away to whatever you want, whatever organization you want to. Okay? How do you get there is an issue. So there's two things. Two things you can do. Number one, you can lower your expenses, obviously. Right? Now, I don't want you to lower your standard of living. I don't want you to live like a pauper. So, you know, cut the things that maybe you don't really use or need anymore. You know, maybe if you have a Netflix and if you have an Amazon Prime, if you have a Hulu and if you have a Disney Plus, maybe you don't need all four of them. How much TV do you watch anyway? Maybe you just need two of them or one of them. So cut something. Right? Save some money. Maybe if you eat lunch out five days a week, maybe you brown bag it one day. Not only will you be healthier, but you'll save money. You'll feel better about yourself. So these little, little cutbacks, not only will they make you more financially stable, but they will also make you healthier. You know, you'll be get out and do active stuff instead of watching TV so much. <laughs> we can only hope, right? <laughs> the other way is to increase your income. Now, 20% is a stretch by anybody's imagination. Right? You're going to have to really put your pen to paper and figure this out. Like how much? How can I do this? Right? Go from 5 to 20 or 10 to 20, it's a big deal. So you're going to have to make more money. And whether that's income from job, income from business, investments, or trading, it's going to give you a logical, tangible, physical goal that, look, I need to make X because that's the challenge. That's how I'm going to do it. And then you got to figure out how you're going to do it. No, it's not going to happen overnight, like I said. It's going to take some time. But I do believe if you set your mind to this challenge and if you take it seriously and if you do it and you strive, and if you're at 5% right now, even if you get to 10, you know, and you don't get all the way to 20, eventually you will if you want to. But even if you get to 10, that's going to make huge differences in your life. And then eventually, you know, maybe you feel like, okay, I don't need to give the whole 20. But if you stop, you have 20% of your income just sitting there that you can use to build wealth, with, to build anything, with, right? So it's basically building a financial discipline to spend less, but also it's pushing you to grow and to make more. And I think that's the real, real benefit. So yes, you'll feel better about yourself. You know, you're helping other people. You make a difference in the world. And who knows, by giving more money, it'll probably come back. That's the way it works, right? The more you give, the more you get back. But it'll also force you to be thinking about more income. Now, obviously, we all think about, oh, man, I got to make more money. I got to make more money. Yeah, but this is a real number. You need to make a real plan and then enact, put that plan into motion. You know, step one, step two, step three, step four. And then you can track and say, how, did, how good did I do? And you can make it a game. Because that's what it is. It's a challenge. It's a game. I'm throwing down the gauntlet and challenging you. And then you get to make the world a better place. Now, for me, I'm right now, I am about at 20%. I don't, I'm not saying that to brag. I'm just saying that it is possible. Okay? Now, I didn't get there years ago. <laughs> right? It took some time. But it, we built in a habit in my family, me and my wife. We built in a habit. Okay. We're going to start with, we started with 12.5%. That's what we started with. And then we did a little bit extra. Oh, oh, hey, you know, this guy needs some help. We need to, you know, he needs a couple grand to fix his car. Or this kid needs, you know, to pay his tuition payment for the month, for the semester. Give him some money or, or send it to a charity or, or whatnot. But we came up with creative ways to do it. One of the things that I do with the kids is I've given money to this organization called Kiva. K-I-V-A dot O-R-G. Basically, what you do is you loan micro loans to people in other countries. So if you give maybe a thousand dollars, each loan that you give is only twenty-five bucks, 
right? So you take the thousand, put it in the website, you send it to them, and then you choose who to give the loan to. And the, you can give each person $25. Now, for, obviously, the people might need more, so there are several people giving loans. But the people then pay the loans back, so you get more money to lend to more people. Now, the point here is not to make interest on it. You've given it the money away, but it gets repaid, and then you get to loan it again to somebody else and get repaid and loan it again, loan it again. And so I do this with my kids. And so now my boys, they're 8 and 10 right now. They get to choose who we give the loans to. And I haven't added any more money into it because the money comes back and then we give more loans. And then every couple of months we look at it and say, how much money do we have? Okay, hey, let's make some loans. And they decide who they want. They go through all of the available loans. They look at the pictures. They look at the description of what they need the money for. And what country do they live in? Are they a man or a female? Are they a group? Are they individual? Are they going to be able to give the money back? Does it make, does it make sense what they're trying to, what they need the money for? They make all these decisions on their own and then they pick. And then they track, like, how much money did they get back? You know, how are their loans doing? So they feel good about themselves, but they're also learning how to be a good lender, which eventually is something that I want them to know because I want them to be making investments. That's part of the job, right? You have to know how to get your capital back. So we're using doing good to teach. So if you have kids, I think that's definitely one of the plays, one of the ways you can do it. But again, the challenge is to get yourself up to 20% giving the money back or giving the money away. I'd be interested to know how many of you guys would actually check me up on this challenge and how many of you are actually going to be able to accomplish it. It's going to be amazing. But if you get up to 20%, the feeling that you're going to feel is unbelievable where you actually, you know, you, you feel on top of the world, really. Because not only do you want less, like you desire less. It just makes you desire less things, be less materialistic. Because you're you're not only looking at what you need, but then you're thinking, okay, I need to raise, like let's say you're going to give away $20,000 a year. Okay? You have to look for places to give the $20,000. And so you have to research. And when you're doing the research, you're going to find out all the things and all the people and all the places that are suffering and need help and you're going to feel so grateful for the life that you have in whatever situation you're in right now you're going to feel amazing you're going to be like oh wow you know i i'm really in a blessed situation to be able to give away twenty thousand dollars and then you're going to help those people and then you're going to feel really good about yourself not only that but you've also increased your income hopefully right and then the, the big thing about it is that the way the U.S. taxes are, you don't even have to, it doesn't have to be a full 20000 If you're making 100000 you don't have to give away the full twenty, like you, to make 20% because then there's taxes and stuff. So the more money you give, the more tax break you get. So it's, you're not really having to, in order to get 20% of your income, you're not really having to give away 20% of 100000 if that makes sense because of the tax breaks. So it's really cool. I thought I'd share this with you. It's an interesting idea. I think it'll definitely help you. So, yeah, it's not easy. Like I said, it's a challenge. Right? How are you going to do it? I hope you do. I hope you give it a shot. Because not only will it change your life, it will change your family's life, it will change your life. So with that, remember to trade with the odds in your favor. And good luck. Take care. Are you ready to get started with passive trading and be a consistent and confident and profitable trader? generating cash flow consistently from the stock market? Well, I have some great news for you. For a limited time, we are offering my new book, Passive Trading, for free. All you got to do is go to PassiveTrading.com slash free book, and we will send you the book in the mail for free as long as you cover the postage and handle. So if you can cover that, we'll send you the book for free. We've already printed it. We got it for you. Um, we're going to send it out to you. It's free. All you got to do is just go to PassiveTrading.com slash free book and learn the basics of passive trading. Get the behind the scenes. Get some examples. Learn the strategies and put this stuff to work in your life right now. Remember, go to PassiveTrading.com slash free book and get yours now while this offer is still available.